Crews will find out if lightning caused a massive fire at an Olathe apartment complex overnight. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel is at that apartment complex. And what have you learned new this morning, Brian? Yeah, good morning, Cynthia. Take a look here at the damage that was done to this apartment complex at about 122nd Street and Strain Line. Now, fire crews, they just wrapped up for the most part here on scene. Uh, they were up earlier on a cherry picker getting a bird's eye view down into this apartment to see if lightning is the cause of this fire that caused more than $750,000 worth of damages. Now, firefighters, they tell us that this roof basically collapsed right into that third floor that you see. And uh, there's also damage to the structure of the first floor as well. Now, take a look at this video that was captured by someone and posted on Facebook that uh, they were one of the first witnesses here on scene. You can see how strong this fire was just before midnight. Now, witnesses are telling us they heard a loud boom before the fire started and saw a bright blue flash. And fire crews here are now trying to find out if that was, in fact, lightning. And they are using some technology called StrikeNet. That's 99% accurate, according to their website, in detecting a lightning strike at this location within 10 feet. Now, the smoke, it was so strong, according to witnesses, that it carried across the parking lot because of how strong the wind was and actually set off smoke detectors in an adjacent building across the parking lot. So take a listen to Joseph Palmer describe getting on scene here right after that lightning bolt lit up the sky. And I saw the flames just shooting out, and there was nobody, there was no, no officers, no fire department here yet. So just jumped out of the car, pouring down rain, ran up there and started knocking on doors, um, getting everybody out. Uh, people were pretty startled. Uh, now, everyone did get out quickly, as well as a dog and a cat. And I should mention that every single witness here that we talked to, uh, they are praising the quick timing by both police and fire officials. And we just talked with Olathe Fire. They give us an update that a preliminary cause may come out in about the next hour. So be sure to check on our website, KSHB.com, for the latest updates. Reporting live in Olathe, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.